What's up party people and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have an awesome yoga for the psoas, but of course like all of our yoga, it's all connected. So we're gonna target a bunch of major muscle groups and open and stretch, but also strengthen and stabilize. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, my darling friends, let's begin an extended child's pose. Walk the knees as wide as your yoga mat. Get down low and then walk the hands out. Take a deep breath in. Welcome to your yoga practice today. And use an exhale to release the head and the heart towards the earth. Just a couple quick breaths here. So see if you can deepen your breath and really drop into the present moment. Close your eyes. And start to listen to the sound of your breath here. And then use the sound of your breath as an anchor to focus on, to help keep your attention on the present and not get caught in the past or anything on the future agenda. So really start to listen, and as we move our bodies today, we'll continue to cultivate that listening more and more and more. So when you get distracted or your mind wanders, just acknowledge that, and then choose to return back to the sound of your breath. So anchoring our awareness in the sound of our breath. Awesome, take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly begin to lift up. We'll come to tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Press into the tops of the feet. And then when you're ready, you're gonna claw through the fingertips, engage your core by drawing the navel up to the spine. And then lift your heart center up between your back body. Just find a nice, strong awareness throughout the spine, so the neck is long. And then when you feel like you have that, press into your left foot, and you're gonna send your right leg all the way over to the right. Turn the right toes in. I'll turn out so you can see this a little better. And then really see if you can engage the right inner thigh and press into the right foot. And cat cow from here, inhale, drop the belly. Pause, breathe here, maybe soft, easy movement in the neck. And then when you're ready, on an exhale, navel draws up. Keep pressing into the outer edge of that right foot and the top of the left foot, round through. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round through. Sweet, one more time. Inhale, drop the belly. Sits bones really spread here. Open, open, open. Press into the knife edge of that back foot. And then exhale, neutral spine. Now connect to your core to lift you up. Gate pose. You're going to slide the right hand down the leg or bring it to the waistline. And then when you're ready, inhale, sweep the left fingertips all the way up and overhead. And then lean back here as you press into your foundation. Big stretch. And one more deep breath in here. And then exhale, release, come back to center. Bring the palms together at the heart, inhale. And exhale. Great tabletop position. Bring the right knee in, take the left leg out, same thing. All right, and then left side. Send the left leg out, turn the left toes in, engage the left inner thigh. And when you're ready, inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Soft, easy movement here, breathe deep. And then when you're ready, use an exhale to really round through, chin to chest. Press into the knife edge of that left foot. Press into the top of the right foot. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And exhale, round through. One more time. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, neutral spine. 
Light a little fire in your belly, press up. Gate pose, inhale, send the left fingertips down, right fingertips all the way up and over. You can also bring your left hand to the waistline here. Big stretch, lean back, pull that right thumb back. And exhale with control, draw the navel in, come back to center. Beautiful, we're gonna come back to all fours. Bring that left knee back in. And we're gonna slowly walk the knees back and come all the way onto the belly. Then draw your elbows underneath where your shoulders are. And then press into the tops of the feet so toes are not curled under here. And inhale, open the chest. Now really feel the tops of the hip creases and the quads on the earth. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, lift the hips. Press into the tops of the feet. Gaze straight down. We're here for five, four, three, two. Awesome work. One. Slowly lower the knees. And we'll walk them back in. Nice work. Come all the way back up to neutral. And then you're just going to take the right foot out and then bring it all the way up. Lower the left knee if it's not already. Walk it back, coming to a nice low crescent moon. Squeeze the inner thighs together and you can stay here nice and low or inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. Pull the right hip crease back. Squeeze the inner thighs to the midline for stability. Inhale in, exhale, stay here. Again, hands can be on the earth or on the waistline as well. And you're wanting to walk that left knee back just a bit. Inhale one more time. And exhale to release. Awesome. From here, you're going to lift the back knee up. Nice low lunge. And then you're going to step it up just a bit for a little variation on pyramid. So we're going to lift the back heel. Pull the right hip crease back. And fold forward for one breath cycle. Back heel is lifted. Breathe deep. And then exhale, bend the front knee, step the left toes further back, come to your nice low lunge. One more time, lower the left knee. Sweep the arms all the way up, crescent moon. And then exhale to release back down. Awesome work. Here we go. From here, we'll come back to all fours nice and easy. Creaky old floor, what's up? I've missed you. Yes. And then send the left leg out and then in. Walk the right knee back. Feel that stretch. Breathe deep. Keep it nice and chill here. Notice if you're like wanting to rush or if you're gripping. See if you can keep it nice and chill. So the muscles and the emotions, it's all tied together. So how you move and how you treat yourself on the mat is everything. So again, you can keep it nice and low here. Or maybe you sweep the arms all the way up. So hug the lower ribs in, find support, and then you can play with sinking the hips a little more. Stay here, breathe deep. Connect to your foundation. And then on an exhale, we'll release. Beautiful. Curl the back toes under if they aren't already. Lift the back knee. We're just step it up a little bit. Pyramid variation. Stretching through the hamstring here. Pull the left hip crease up and then lift your right heel up. Lift, lift, lift. You're trying to level out the hips here. Breathing fully. Great, then bend that front knee. Step the right toes back. Nice low lunge. And then once again, lower that right knee. Maybe walk it back a little further. You can stay nice and low. Or inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. Crescent moon. Awesome, inhale, take one more deep breath. Lift your heart, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, take everything down. Awesome work, my friends. Plant the palms, curl the toes under. Step it back to downward facing dog where you'll pedal it out here. Find what feels good, breathe, enjoy this time for yourself. Lift the hip creases up super high today. Hug the lower ribs in. Awesome, awesome work. From here, inhale, exhale, plank pose. Navel draws all the way up, come forward. Press away from your yoga mat. Really reach your heels back. You might even rock front and back a little bit here. 
Then when you're ready, look forward, inhale, exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Inhale to open the chest and the heart. And then exhale to make your way right back to down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Awesome, step it all the way up. And then you're gonna pivot on the back foot here and bring your right fingertips to your right heel or right arch or right elbow to the top of the right thigh. Now feel this beautiful stretch, engage, <laughs> I almost said engorge, something else. Engage your abdominal muscles. And then you can stay here, breathing deep, front knee over front ankle, press the outer edge of that back foot, just like we did before. Or extended side angle, find a little more depth. Inhale, reaching the left fingertips either all the way up towards the sky or all the way up and overhead. Keep that shoulder plugged in. Now breathe here. You got this. Fill up with air. Embody the pose with breath. Listen, listen, listen. Inhale in. And then exhale. Come all the way up, warrior two. Great. Then you're going to love this. Inhale, straighten the front leg and reverse it. Right fingertips reach all the way up. Find length, find space. Keep the core engaged and then reach it back. Press away from your yoga mat with your feet. Inhale. More space, more space. And then exhale, cartwheel all the way back down. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna bend both knees and you're just gonna slowly walk it, walk it. And we're just gonna come into a nice low lunge on the other side. Soft bend in the knees here as you transition. Sweet, nice low lunge on the other side. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your left fingertips in line with your left heel. Or maybe your left elbow to the top of your left thigh. Breathe deep, then pivot on the back foot when you're ready and open your heart, open your chest, firm the shoulder blades down the back body and maybe right fingertips reach up towards the sky or maybe they reach all the way up and overhead, extended side angle. Breathing deep, press into the knife edge of that back foot. You got this, breathe here. Listen to the quality of your breath. Use that ujjayi breath. One more breath, you got it. Exhale, brings you up, warrior two. Nice work, inhale in. Then exhale, straighten that front leg and reverse it, enjoy. So really press into all four corners of your left foot. Draw energy up from the arch of the right foot. Breathe, inhale, lean into it. Then exhale, cartwheel all the way back. Have some fun. Fabulous. From here, walk, 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 hands all the way back to the front of your mat. Bend the knees, should be fun. And then plant the palms and step it back, plank pose. Beautiful. Reach the heels back, inhale, look forward. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Keep looking forward. Now keep going, inhale, exhale, squeeze and lift. And even it out. And then we'll release. Slowly lower the knees, come to child's pose. Beautiful work, my friends. Close your eyes. Listen to the sound of your breath. Awesome work. Slowly inhale, come back up. And then walk the knees out. We're gonna bring the right knee towards the left elbow and then open it up towards the right elbow for one-legged pigeon. Now really walk the left knee back here today. Keep active in both toes, uh, both feet, excuse me. And inhale, lift your heart. So again, we're really walking that left knee back today Nice and mindful to create more space. And then inhale, lift, and you might even be able to bring the hands to the heart here, breathing deep. Awesome.
Awesome. Inhale, lift sternum to thumbs. Exhale, release. Check it out. From here, I'm going to bring the right foot to the ground. Come to my nice slow lunge, but walk it towards the right edge of your mat. Lizard, one breath. It can be active lizard by lifting the back leg. And then if your back leg is lifted, go ahead and lower it. And we're going to reach the right fingertips all the way up and around to grab the right toes. So if that's not available to you, you'll just reach your fingertips towards the back edge. Just reach like so. Breathing deep. If you were able to clasp your toes or your foot, lift the chest up. Breathe deep. Length through the neck. One more breath. And then exhale to release. Awesome work. Plant the palms, come back to all fours. Here we go, left knee goes in towards the right elbow and then around, so you draw like a little, uh, well, I don't know what that is actually, but like little S, <laughs> sort of. Uh, here we go, one-legged pigeon on the other side. So left knee goes to the right elbow and then to the left elbow and then you find your one-legged pigeon here, walk that right knee out. And sit up nice and tall today. Maybe bring the hands together at the heart. Notice this side will be different, so if you brought your hands together on the other side, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll do it on this side. Nice, full, I love you breaths. You gotta love your body, it's the only body you got. You gotta appreciate it. Accept it, appreciate it. Learn to work with it. Love it. Live it, love it. Good, okay, here we go, inhale. Exhale, slowly come back. Nice little lunge here, move nice and slow. Left foot up, right leg back. Then when you get set, walk that left foot out just a bit. Lizard variation, either with the back knee lowered or you can totally take it active here if if your body's craving it. And then if it's lifted, lower the right knee. Swing the left fingertips all the way up and back. Maybe you just reach towards your right toes or maybe you're able to grab the toes and sink a little deeper. Everyone, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back and find the sound of your breath once again. And take one more big breath in. And then exhale to release with control. Amazing work. All right, from here we're going to bring the knees together. Then swing the legs to the left side. And come all the way down. Come to lie flat on your back. Yay! Take your time getting there. Awesome. And then we're going to bring the fingertips, palms face up uh, to the sides, palms face up. And then inhale in, exhale, bend one knee, foot comes to the earth. And then inhale in and then exhale, bend the other. So I'm just trying to get you to move slow and not, not rush this. And then slowly we'll inhale in, exhale, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the heart space. And then you're just going to let the knees fall to one side. Inhale to center, take your time. Get a little booty massage there and then exhale, let the knees fall to the opposite side. Again, a little booty massage, a little pressure on the piriformis there. So slow it down, getting relaxed, just feeling it out myself. Hey, you. Then one more time to each side in your own time. And inhale, come back to center. Bring one knee up. Let's do the right knee. Bring the right knee up, send one leg out. Let's do the left leg. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, twist. Just nice, easy supine twist here to end. Inhale. And exhale, relax everything. Inhale to come to center and switch.
Find your supine twist on the other side. Take a deep breath in. And use that exhale to just relax everything. Maybe go. Cool. Slowly bring it back to center. Walk the heels as wide as your yoga mat. Open the palms gently at your sides. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the heart space. Once again, close your eyes and take an inhale in. Lots of love. Exhale, lots of love out. Nice work one more time. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. Close your eyes and remain still. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy and your story with me and the rest of the folks practicing with us today all around the world. Namaste. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Thank you.